Alright, what's going on? This is Jason, Jaden McClassy VW, and welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the garage. And this week we are getting into the turbo EFI build. We got some troubleshooting to do, like I told you about uh, in the last video. We're working on the 40 horse. I'm going to show you guys the 40 horse. <laughs> Yeah, in the last video, we went ahead and did these solid rocker shafts. And I haven't done the other side yet. Plus, i got to stop by Bugaholics here, one of my local shops, and see if I can pick up some of those stock aluminum push rods because I want to check the length on them because, yeah, got a little bit of uh, extra play in here that I don't like. And I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the push rod length being just a bit too long on these 11 inch push rods. But that's not what we're doing today. We're not doing 40 horsepower today. We are doing turbo EFI troubleshooting. And what exactly am I troubleshooting? Well, let me go ahead and get the deck lid off of Goose here and I will show you what we're doing within me today. All right, deck lid's off. Now we have to start having some fun. So I kind of explained a little bit what was going on with the turbo EFI build. I believe I may have toasted my rings, jacked them up one way or another. So we're going to get into figuring out maybe what I jacked up. Let me turn you guys around and show you what's going on. So yes, yes, my baby Envy. Ah, I got a little excited when I first got her on the road, as I normally do with most things, because she had been sitting in the garage for well over a year, and I finally got all this in here, and I got out there and I got a little crazy before I had had her tuned up and I may have had some pinging issue in my cylinders, which means uh, too much fuel, not enough fuel. And once the turbo starts to come into play and you don't have your fuel tables correct, you get some pinging, pre-detonation, and uh, it can destroy your rings or jack them up. That or when I hone these suckers out using that ball hone, that ball hone right there, the flex hone, it didn't give me the cross hatch I was exactly looking for. Now, we're gonna check compression, see what we have. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and re remove this uh, piping, tubing here for the turbo, so that it uh, is just like if I were to have the throttle body wide open. So normally when you do a compression check, you wanna have your throttle body wide open so you can get air in there. Because yeah, how are you supposed to check compression if you can't get no air into the cylinders? I gotta be able to get the compression testing tool down here to the spark plug area. So we're gonna be pulling this out, pulling the spark plugs, and then running compression check on each cylinder. I'll probably pull this whole section out. The uh, intake manifolds, the top hats for the turbos, and this, all this crap that's coming up out of here so that I can get this done. And the motor is most likely coming out too because, well, it's upgrade time, baby. It's time to do some forged pistons, and I've been meaning to do it for a while, so I'm probably going to do some JE forged pistons. Not that the hyper eutenic, hyper tenic, hyper what the heck ever they are called from AA don't get the job done because they did for a while, but since I'm in here and I'm going to probably pull the engine out, I might as well go ahead and order them. It's about a thousand bucks for the new cylinders and the forged pistons, JE pistons. You can get those from AA's website as well, and that's where I'm gonna get mine from. And then we're gonna go going ahead and doing the total seal rings again. So yeah, first off is let's find out what's going on. Let's find out what's wrong. So I got some parts to remove. Let's get to work. I am a fan of the V-bands. I tell you what, anything like this, and you can get V-band action installed. It uh, makes life that much easier. These are seven sixteenths on these. These clamps here are either. 10 millimeter or 7 sixteenths. Mm, interesting.
these little suckers are always fun. They're a fun little pain in the butt to get out of there. There's no gasket used on this because, you know, it would get blown out. So I just put a nice little bit of silicone in between the head and the intake manifold. Looking a little dirty, looking a little dirty. Let's get those spark plugs out of there and that'll be our first sign of uh, any potential issues. But uh, yeah, you guys wanna take a closer look at the ports on the head? Not a whole lot to really see here other than this some pretty clean looking ports. Let's take a look at these uh, plugs and see what we're working with. We'll pull both the uh, three, four out for doing the compression check and uh, disable the computer. We don't need that powered up. And we're look the plug looks a little sooty, like it's been running rich, a bit rich. We'll check the gap on that. These are these iridium plugs though too, so they they uh, might have a little bit larger gap. We'll take a look and see what it's supposed to be specced out at. Let's pull the other one out. I guess they're about the same. Actually, I would say number four looks maybe a little darker. Good old Harbor Freight Compression Checker. Quick connect, disconnect. <clears throat> you got three different sizes in here depending on your spark plug size. Ours is this one. And if you had a stock VW, it would be the other one, the little bit bigger one. Yeah. So you hook this thing up and you just kind of screw down in there. You don't go crazy gonzo tight with it. And then you hook up your compression checker. And then we run it. Run the engine over. Just turn it over a few times and see what she has. You know what I mean? You don't go crazy with the starter. But like uh, for about two, three seconds, you run that thing. And uh, we'll see what our compression's at. Okay, so we're all hooked up. And uh, for EFI, you definitely want to make sure your computer's disconnected. Because if I was to crank that sucker over right now, ignition on, the computer would... Hit the fuel pump, and fuel pump will put fuel everywhere, which would be a bad deal. So, computer off, I'll show you guys how I do that. Back seat out, and here's my ECU. If you guys haven't seen it before, it's the Haltech Elite 1500. And I got a kill switch on the back side here, and I just push the button in. Push the button in, and it kills power to it. Just make sure that everything's cleared away, because for me anyway, you don't want anything falling down inside of the stupid, uh, head that'd be no good for the intake ports to get crap in there let's go ahead and move this up over here and you guys can watch the compression and see where we're going to see what we got on number three i'm thinking that's gonna be well above 120 so fingers crossed on that one wash my hands and uh go flip this key over and see what we got guys get guys we're about to check number four but before we check number four don't forget to like share and subscribe this content boys and girls and children and whoever else is out there watching this stuff <laughs> if you enjoy vw content we get into it quite a bit here so smash the like and subscribe <laughs> now back to the video number four number four can you guys see that hmm hold on you guys can see here we go let's check out number four Number four is a little bit better. About, uh, about a hundred, which isn't too shabby. Okay, so I rechecked uh, number three, and it's uh, also just a little bit above a hundred. So number three, number four are just above a hundred, which uh, one of the things you wanna check when you're doing compression is that you have even compression across the board. So now I'm gonna tear apart the one, two side, and we'll go ahead and take a look over there and see where we're at, and if everything looks good, Compression wise, then uh, then we just got a ring problem still because either way, when I get into boost, boost is getting by into the case and pushing oil all out where it don't need to be. So either way, checking compression is still good, but we're still gonna be tearing this bad boy apart to replace rings. 
upgrade pistons. <laughs> so this is more just for peace of mind, but uh, it seems more like possibly the tune is just off and we getting a little bit too much fuel down in those cylinders. But uh, yeah, let's get to the other side and I'll bring you guys back once we're ready to, ch to check compression again, yeah. The uh, number two looks a little bit more, I would just say dirty. Way, it's way more dirty on this side. Like it's not getting as much fuel down in there as compared to the uh, three four side. Cause if we go back over to the three four side, see these, these ports on the three four side are considerably cleaner. It's a little interesting. Just something I'm kind of paying attention to. Let me see if I can get a little bit of light down in here so you guys can see a little better what I'm talking about. But yeah, look at that. It's almost like it's tarnished. That's weird. On the, uh, the number two. So let's pull these plugs and take a look and see what the plugs look like because maybe, uh, maybe we got a cylinder that wasn't firing the way it was supposed to be firing. Could be uh, a problem as well weird what you look like it's rich man she looks like she is running rich but if you look real close to the electroid that's pretty clean but there is plenty of soot plenty of black wrap on here let's get that uh, number two out it's got me super curious what it looks like Oh, yeah, it looks way different. It is a lot cleaner. Like, as, as far as soot goes, it's still, like, black. Like, it's been running rich. But the overall plug is a lot cleaner. Time for some compression testing. Guys, number one. Number one is hooked up. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got for number one. Yeah, I'd say it's about 100. 100 on number one. So, so far they're, they're all, all pretty even on compression. Last cylinder, cylinder number two. What's the story gonna be, man? What's the story gonna be? Pretty darn good. They're all about the same. I know that one's like 90-ish, but if I was to hit it a little bit more with the starter, I bet I'd hit that 100. So we got uh, even pressure across all cylinders at about 100 PSI, which to be honest, that's a little low. At least what I would think, that's probably a little low. If I was to do this after everything had warmed up, it'd probably be a little bit higher, but I would expect uh, with total seal even if we have a problem, we probably are still gonna get some compression with the total seal rings. So, interesting, interesting. Yeah, that's definitely got me a little bit kabuffled. Just not so sure on what's going on. Hmm, 100 on all cylinders. Further investigation definitely required. She's coming out, guys, she's coming out because uh, I gotta figure out why we're getting so much blow by when I uh, get a boost. Like I told you, probably a total seal rings. Probably still gonna get compression even with uh you know even if we have an issue so hmm, more to come and just coming out next week once we get back on things with a 40 horsepower build we are underneath here 40 horsepower build we'll get back on that plus uh we'll probably see these two engines next to each other side by side maybe we'll do some some differences between a high horsepower engine case and a uh, lower horsepower engine case that's a single relief is a dual relief we'll get into that in the next video JW Classic VW. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. It's probably Friday when you guys are seeing this. So have a great weekend. Enjoy some time with your family. Get out to the garage. Do a little bit of work. A little bit of work each day. A little bit of work each weekend. 
gets our projects and our babies back on the road. So, until then, appreciate y'all, you guys. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Appreciate all my subscribers. It's been around forever. I don't even appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet, because at least you're watching. <laughs> See you next time, guys. It's Jason. Bye-bye. bunch of ball joints, bushings, and all kinds of other stuff. Man, that was some work. I'm still beat up from it. <laughs> crawling, on the, crawling on the concrete. A concrete mechanic warrior. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs>